I want to talk about a super typhoon fluid dynamics and how that relates to a cold snap we will see here on the first coast heading into next week. Now first, this is Typhoon Bulvin. It peaked as a category five super typhoon in the western Pacific. Now remember, typhoons are simply hurricanes west of the international dateline. This storm actually impacted Guam and the Mariana Islands before pushing off towards the north and now it's starting to interact with the jet stream and there's a lot of energy here. So as this pulls towards the north, it actually is causing the jet stream to dip down here across Japan. But watch this. That is pulling the jet stream down here. It's going to cause a ridge just south of the Lucian Islands out there just south of Alaska. A dip right in there and watch as we look east. Just imagine you have a rope and you snap it and it causes those waves. You have a big ridge that's going to form up by the end of the week and across the west coast of the United States. And then with that, those waves with the rope causes a deep trough here on the east coast of the United States and we're expecting really low temperatures. Some of the coldest we have seen back since April and March across the southeast of the United States with temperatures even here on the first coast dipping into the 40s. All of that relates to a super typhoon in the western Pacific. Those fluid dynamics and how the atmosphere is connected around the globe. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. First Coast News on your side.